Uh, okay. All right. Hi, folks. Hi. Um, so I'm Tony, and uh, Christy is our guest speaker today. I met Christy through the business of Plexus, um, and uh, she's talked about having uh, TBI, traumatic brain injury. Um, and then I, through the couple last couple of years, I've met several people who also had a TBI or have deal with TBI. Um, and so I thought this would be a great opportunity to get people together. Um, Christy does speaking uh, and she's also a personal life coach. So I was just thinking that she might be able to help share some ideas. Y'all are coping with something that I don't have to deal with. I have no comprehension what you guys are going through. I just, my, my heart goes out to you is all I can say. Anyway, so I'm gonna let Christy take it away. Um, and I'm gonna mute myself because my husband's doing um, construction, um, but yeah. So <laughs> let Christy take it away. Thank you so much for joining in this. You are so welcome. Thank you for having me. I am honored to be invited. I'm always, um, uh, it would be a lie to say I'm excited to share my story or I love sharing my story because my story sucks, but there is hope at the end of it. And, you know, oftentimes people will, will say to me, well, I can't do what you do because I don't have the testimony you have. And my answer to them every time is, thank your heavenly father that you don't have the story that I have. Like if, if like gas and bloating is the only reason you need plexus, like you still need it and be so lucky that that's the only reason that you need it, you know, or low energy, like be grateful. Um, but I will just tell you a little bit about myself. So my name is Christy Barkley and I am an Emerald ambassador right now with plexus. I never thought that I would actually, I knew nothing about network marketing. So it would be a lie to say that I don't know you know, I was like, I'll never be one of those people. That's not who I was. I just was um, a mom who worked her butt off and I had got my master's, went back for my master's degree when I was 30. I was originally a child therapist and I decided, um, goodness, 15, 17 years ago that what I was seeing with kids that I thought through sports and athletics would make a bigger impact on children. There's a ton of studies that show if your kids are active in sports, they're less likely to get pregnant. They're more likely to graduate high school. They're more likely to go to college. They just, it makes a huge impact. So I went back to get my master's in sport medicine. I mean, sport management. And the intention was then to get my PhD in um, psychology because way back in the day in 2004, there was no such thing as a PhD in sports psychology. So that was that was the path you took. You got a master's in sport management and then you got a, a PhD in psychology. And I, that's what I wanted to do. Um, when I was doing my master's, I had an opportunity to take an internship with the Nashville Predators, which is the, an NHL team. And then that led to a job. And I knew if I did that and kind of got my foot in the door with professional sports team, it would be much easier when I got my PhD and then I would go be, you know, probably work for, for a big team and be a sports psychologist and it would be amazing. But um, in 2008, I got what was likely my at least 20th concussion. I played rugby in college and I cheered competitively in high school. So I'd gotten a lot of concussions, but in 2008, I was actually holding my daughter and standing on the back of a boat on the diving platform. So standing right here and I slipped while holding her and hit the back of my head on the boat. So at the time um, I worked for a hockey team, a professional hockey team. So I had the team doctors, I had the team neurologist, I had a ma an amazing team, but after, um, six months of being on medical leave um, and, and really being in a dark room and not really interacting and not able to communicate very well, the, the team doctors retired me <laughs> for a lack of a better word. They said, you'll never work again. Like you're not going to be able to do anything that you do. So I retired and I left what was my dream job and this this path 
Um, I was really good at what I did. I managed sponsorships. I sold the naming rights to the arena of the Nashville arena. I mean, I was, I was good at what I did and I was very successful. I worked about a hundred hours a week and I was a real crappy mom. Um, if you think of like being present for your children, <laughs> I loved big. And I, I thought that I was setting a great example of what women can do. And I was, but I was not there. I wasn't present for anything that they needed. So that was in 2008. And then um, I just slowly, the progression got worse and worse. So by 2013, I, um, I couldn't, I didn't know which shoe went on which foot. I didn't have any short-term memory. I didn't have any long-term memory. I didn't have a recall of getting married. I didn't have, um, I didn't remember any of my friends' names. So I stopped doing anything socially at all because I would call people the wrong names and then I would be mortified and my husband was correcting me all the time. And so by 2014, I legitimately wasn't really leaving my house. The migraines were horrible. I was on 13 different prescriptions. I had seven different doctors that I saw each month. I had a migraine specialist and a neurologist and a, um, a psychologist and a psychiatrist and my PCP and um, just a crap ton of doctors. And they worked with me a lot and I did a ton of testing and, and they really did sit my, my husband down in 2014. And they said, here's the prognosis she's dying. She has early onset dementia. So we're starting her on medication for that to hopefully slow it down. But what you can expect is to, um, by 2016, that she's not going to recognize any of her children. You probably can still have her home with help, but she won't know really who any of you are. And by 2018, you're going to need to expect to put her in assisted living because at that point, Point, the Alzheimer's will be so progressed that we expect there to be anger, um, physical disruption. She won't be able to care for herself at all physically. And by 2020, she will be dead. And this is what they told my husband in 2014. And so he had to come home and he told our oldest son, who was 16 at the time. And they just really... Um, I journaled a lot. I wrote letters out. This is a letter for Isaac when he gets married. This is a letter for Cassidy when she has her first child. And we made videos and our family just planned for my death. What does it look like? My husband is not a very faithful person. When I say that, like not faithful to me in marriage, but in a Christ-like path, he would go to church because church was important to me, but it wasn't important to him. And he didn't, he really felt kicked in the gut by this because if I'm being honest, he had just started kind of maybe believing that God was real and that there was something else bigger out there that was fantastic. And about that time is when I started getting more sick. And so he's like, if this was what happens, then I, I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want, you know, if I believe in God, and so that means the devil is going to come after us. Like, I don't want any part of that. Um, so all the typical symptoms that you think that, you know, a professional football player has you, or that you may hear about, um, the suicide attempts, the, um, you know, I had a really great one and I, I flatlined and they brought me back and I was mad as hell because I didn't want my children to watch me progressively die in, in my mind at the time, it just made more sense for me to leave the earth without causing them any pain and sorrow. And, and that made sense at the time. And I know it doesn't make sense now. Um, and it may not make sense if you know somebody who has had a, a suicide attempt, like it doesn't make sense to you. But at the time, it made sense. Like, why would I put my children through watching their mother not know them? or question everything they did. You know, my son would leave the house and 10 minutes later, I would call him wanting to know where he went, even though he had told me or the load that he had to carry, you know, the grocery shopping, the laundry, all the things he had to do because I couldn't, I didn't do much. Like if I did a load of laundry, that was the extent of my energy for the day. 
Like I was not doing anything else. And then I was getting in bed. You know, he was on the football team. So if I went to the football game on Friday, that meant that I did not get out of bed again until Monday or Tuesday. And that was just for like a three hour event, a driving to the football game, uh, sitting in the stands and coming home would completely wipe me out. And, you know, at that time, six, seven years ago, um, or if you go all the way back to 2008, when it really hit, they believed that once the damage was done to your brain, that your brain could not regenerate, that it wasn't going to heal, that it wasn't going to get better. And so the prognosis really was terminal. The beautiful thing now is that they know that with gut health, that that's the key to brain health. And gut health can actually help allow your brain to reheal. In case you didn't know, it's 2021 and I'm sitting here talking to you a year after I was supposed to be dead, sharing my story. And it, and it really is an accidental healing. It wasn't as if a doctor came to me and said, hey, if you get your gut healthy, you're gonna heal. That, that never happened. They didn't have that knowledge. And many, many doctors still don't. And what happened is a good friend of mine posted her weight loss picture and she looked amazing. And prior to my, my brain injury, I was a marathon runner. So prior to my injury, I had completed four full marathons and nine half marathons. I was a runner. I was fit. I was just, uh, you know, for without being overly humble, I was killing it at life again, except for parenthood because I wasn't there, but I was setting a great example of all the things that they could do. Um, but she had lost a lot of weight and because I couldn't exercise, I was gaining a lot of weight. So I started the triplex with Plexus, which is the ProBio 5 and the BioCleanse and the Slim pink drink. And within five days, I wasn't having headaches. And you guys, I took 13 prescriptions a day and I took 12 to 20 Advil a day. Now my migraine specialist approved that because she said I would die of brain damage before liver damage. And that's what it took for me to get out of bed because my head pain and my brain fog was so horrific in the migraine. So within five days, my husband noticed I had more energy. My head didn't hurt. And within three weeks, my migraines ended. And I had four to six migraines a week, like the in bed all day kind of migraines. And my husband at, at about the three and a half week mark came and said, I don't know what you're taking and I don't know how much it costs, but you have to keep taking it. Like everybody in the house notices and I don't really know what's happening yet, but please just don't quit whatever you're taking. So we stuck with it. And within three months, my short-term memory started to work. And within six months, my long-term memory came back. I'll never, ever forget driving in the car and and my son and husband were talking about something and I, about a movie. And I, I rarely chimed in on any conversation like that because I didn't remember anything. Like I did all this stuff with them, but I didn't remember any of it. I mean, they could show me pictures in a photo album and I didn't recall being there, even though I was the one took it. But we were in the car and I just remember driving down the road and saying something. And it was like everybody in the car went quiet. And I was like, what, did I get it wrong again? And they were like, no, but how do you remember that? That's how shocking it was that I remembered like an actress in a movie. And that's when we really knew something huge was happening, really huge. And, you know, if I hadn't have gotten any better at the six month mark, we would have been thrilled. Like I was I was active with my family. I, I had started going to the gym and I walked really slow. I called it like I walked with the retired folks on the treadmill is what I called it. Like, I'm going to go walk with my old friends on the treadmill because I walked at like a 1.7 pace. And if y'all have ever walked on a treadmill, that's not real fast. <laughs> like now I can walk at, walk at a four or five pace. And I was, I was just at a 1.7, just trucking along. Like I'm at the gym. This is awesome. And we didn't know that I would one day live a far better life than prior to my injury. But I truly do. I mean, these products, you guys, 
they've changed everything. I'm now a certified life coach. I'm an Emerald ambassador with Plexus. And if, if you don't have any idea what that means, I'm sitting in my Lexus right now that Plexus pays for. Um, I go to Hawaii with the company. I'm going to Mexico in September with the company. I make more money now, you guys, than I made working for a professional hockey team. And I work way less hours. So let me tell you just, I, I wanna share this because if you're watching this and you have a brain injury, it's likely that you don't make a good income or any income at all, because there are still days where I wake up and I'm like, I feel amazing. Like if I had a nine to five job, I would be calling in sick. And now I just tell my husband, you know what? I'm not going to do much today. I'm not feeling great. I'm not having a great brain day is what we call it. I'm not having a great brain day. And it, they're few and far between now, maybe one a month, but they still happen. And here's the thing. If you have a traditional job, and you're having a really bad brain day and you go to work, it's gonna set you into a tailspin and you're gonna have a lot of crappy brain days because you're not resting when your body's telling you to rest. What happened here is completely accidental. My husband who made a, a great income lost his job. And uh, my oldest son was in private school. And of course my husband's like, we gotta pull him out. And he was about to be a senior. And I was about six months into the product and I said, I know, like, I can't pull him out. And he's like, Christy, we can't afford anything. Like we've canceled cable and you think Isaac and we're sending him to a $25,000 a year school. Like it's not happening. And I said, let me try this thing. Like, I, I think people make money by telling people about these products that make me feel better. And he's like, do whatever, but you need to make at least $1,200 a month minimum, or we're pulling Isaac out of school. And it was like, okay. Hold on, I had a low battery, okay. Um, and you guys, my first month I made $850. And my second month I made 1300 and I never have made less than that. It kept my son in school. And then it put my other kids in private school. And then I had my oldest son in college in private school. And that's always been my thing, is like how many people do I need to talk to to keep my children in great schools? And now it's turned into, where do we want to travel this year? Okay, we got kids in school. Where do we want to travel? What else do we want to do? And the fact that I can work on good brain days and just share my story. Um, and my story isn't impactful to people unless they have had a brain injury. But you know what everybody can relate to? Energy. How many moms do you know that are tired? And they can have energy by getting their gut healthy. All natural products that I can promise you, I could share with you. I could send it to Tony and she could share it with you guys. A video I did when I was about six months into the product when I thought I was amazing. And I would look at that now and be like, who told that girl she could go live? Like she talks slow, her eyes are squinty. She can barely smile. But that was so much progress for me or anybody that knew me that everybody was like, whatever is helping Christy, I wanna try it. So I dare you to start wherever you are. Like, don't wait till the end. I, we never dreamed I would be this healthy and this strong and to become a certified life coach and to help, like now my passion is helping people not only be healthy, but helping them find their passion and their joy and, and make goals and have dreams and to reach it. And, and I'm a great mom. Like my youngest son has never known a mother that wasn't at home. Like I've only ever been home with him. And, and Plexus has allowed me to do that, not only for my health, but financially. Like my husband will never, ever say, hey, your health's really good. You think you ought to go get a job? No, no, I don't. Because then I'm hiring somebody to take care of my kids. Then I'm hiring somebody to deliver groceries. Then we're eating out every night because I don't have time to cook. I've done that life. I will never go back, um, no matter how healthy I get, to that kind of life when, you know, right now, I live a life where right now, you know, we lived in Fort Lauderdale and then we moved to Knoxville for my husband's job. It doesn't affect my job at all. Right now we're in Nashville because my daughter was in a play and then 
you know, in a few weeks, we'll go to Washington, D.C. for a week where my oldest lives now. And then I'm going to go to Idaho for a friend's wedding and visit my aunt and uncle. And I will take my youngest everywhere. You know why? Because this is what I do for a living. Like I'm sitting in my car sharing my journey with you. And that's what I do. And, and I just want everybody to know wherever they are, not only can these products like change your life, but the income, if you're brave enough to talk to your friends who don't feel amazing, will change your life. And, and forever. Like the, what I do now is changing generations. My oldest daughter just sent me her newest um, collage of all the things that she wants to do in life. And she's talking to me about manifesting these things. And you guys, she's just about to be a freshman in college. There are grown people who still don't understand visualization and manifestation and don't believe that they can do anything they set their mind to. And I'm here to say you can. And because I am proof of it, my children will be proof of it. And then my grandchildren will be proof of it. So whenever you think, I don't know if I can reach out to that person, I don't know, think about what you're doing and how that may impact. The one person who reached out to me about losing weight has now changed my family for generations to come. And if she had been too scared to reach out to me, I'd be dead now. That's how important one reach out can be and sharing these products with one person. She has now, that, that girl who is no longer even sharing Plexus has changed thousands of lives because that's how many people are on my team. But the simple drop of what it's done just in my family and what will then impact my grandchildren is huge. And you don't know, you don't know who that person is. And I just challenge you to always, what I do each morning is praying my heart. God, who, who do I need to talk to today? And then I get out of my own way. And that's what I challenge every one of you to do is who, who are you wanting me to be in front of today? And then get out of your own way because you're probably nervous about talking to that person that got put on your heart. And I'm just here to say, I don't know if you believe in God or just the universe or, or where you are right now, but there is somebody that you know whose life will be forever changed if you are brave enough to reach out to them. And that's, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I wanted to share my health journey so that you know what a huge impact these products can have. And I want to share the financial journey because I, I truly know, I mean, my husband right now is in the process of buying two businesses. He hasn't worked since December and we're good. That's what this does. This has changed his life because he now has the freedom to do things he loves. And, and branch out into a new thing instead of just clocking in and clocking out and being on the road. He was on the road Monday through Friday selling stuff. And now, I mean, I'm not going to say it's amazing that he's been in the house with me since December, but it's all right. Like, it's all right. The fact that we have the freedom to do that is the most beautiful thing. And so sometimes you don't think about how can this be a gift to my husband? Like right now, it feels like a burden to have to buy the products, but there will come a time when your husband will be able to do whatever he wants because you did this. And I believe that with all of my heart. So does anybody have questions, thoughts, concerns? I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. Wow. That was, that's amazing. Yeah. Go ahead, Mitzi. Mitzi, did you want to say, yeah. Her interpreter, the interpreter is muted. Um, <laughs> interpreter, let's see, it's the. I see her, I'm trying to unmute her, but I'm on my phone and so it's not letting me. Oh, Iris, can you interpret for Mitzi? Yeah, go ahead, Mitzi. Something about this, the business opportunity. 
that you said the visual visualizing income. Hold on. Mitzi, Mitzi, unmute. Okay. There you go. Yeah, talk, talk and sign, and I can catch it better. I try to sign it. That's the best thing that I really like about the business opportunity is that one, you build relationship with the customers. Yes. Two, you build lifetime friendship with them. Number two, you don't have to have the inventory, the stock supplies of all things, things to sell. And that's a rock that way. So this business opportunity is different in comparison to all the other MLM. So this is a good business opportunity. It really fits well with a lot of people's budget. Yes, it fits well with a lot of people's budgets and you build relationships with the customers and you don't have to have inventory. That's what sets this apart. Yes. I also will say I have so much respect for my friends who are killing it in like Pampered Chef or Rodan and Fields because it's not a consumable. So people don't need it every month. It really is a high priced something that you could probably get cheaper at TJ Maxx. I mean, there's no replacement for what, what we offer people. And it really is life-changing. Like there's not a single pot or pan or spatula that I can buy that's going to change my life. Right. Yeah. Am I right? So, yeah. you know, I had a friend that sold 31 bags and I love the bags, but it got to the point where my husband said, if you buy one more bag, we're going to have to have a, a hard talk, you know? And I was like, but this one does, he's like, stop with the bags. And I'm like, but I'm supporting Shannon. He's like, but stop with the bags. Like, don't you buy another fun print bag and have it shipped to this house. Like we don't do that. We truly offer hope and health and happiness to anybody who wants it. And, yeah. and it's, it's a beautiful opportunity we have. I completely agree. I used to sell makeup and jewelry and clothing. And that's exactly what I tell people. I'm like, I know I've tried several different network marketing companies, but makeup never changed my life. Clothing never changed my life. <laughs> I'm like, this is life changing. Yeah, it, those things make you feel happy for a minute, especially if you're a shopaholic. I'm a, I'm a recovering shopaholic. <laughs> but, you know, they make you happy. And then you don't even like, if it gets lost, you don't even realize it's lost half the time. But this, it's like, you don't take your bio cleanse for a couple of days and you're like, oh, oh, <laughs> where's where that? Yeah. You know? Christy, real quick, would you just kind of share with us what you take now? Like what did you, so you started with the triplex and obviously that was huge. What was your next thing? And was there a specific product that was just like, wow, now I feel even better. And I didn't even think I could. Yes. Thank you for asking. So when anybody reaches out to me with any type of brain injury or concussions or any kind of like anything like that, I suggest triplex. Mega X and Vital Bio. Okay. Currently, I take everything because I have a cyst in my foot and I, I take everything. But if you have any type of brain injury, Triplex is what I started with. Um, Mega X came out when I was um, three months in. So we didn't even have it. And that's when I started taking that very quickly, my short term memory came started working and it was three months into mega x when i had the long-term memory started coming back mm -hmm. i will also say sleep wise i used to take um a melatonin supplement a magnesium supplement trazodone and advil pm every night mm -hmm. those were the things that i took for my insomnia which is a common symptom you know where you're often fatigued but you often can't sleep either so that that's what i took nightly in order to sleep. And it would still take me about an hour or two of reading to go to sleep. And Mega X, almost immediately, I was sleeping. So, and then Vital Biome came out probably two years into my journey. And at that time, I was doing pretty good. I think I was a senior gold ambassador. I was doing good, but I still took about three days off a week. I would work hard for four days. And, but when I say work hard, I would have maybe one or two team calls. I would do reach outs and then I would not do anything for three days. Within about a month of Vital Biome, I was fine. Like I literally 
functioned like a normal human being with no in injury. And so I, to me, vital biome shifted my energy level and my ability to just function for the most part, seven days a week. So, so those are the five products I tell people if it's in the budget, those five will be life-changing for anybody with those type of uh, symptoms. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Do you, what about nerve? Um, like I have a friend who's had a stroke, which isn't quite the same as uh -huh. TBI, but I was wondering if nerve is something that um, would help with that. Probably, well. you know, because it, it helps rebuild those nerves yeah. and it softens the nerve endings. I don't know. I don't, I, I'm sure, I think everything helps because all of our products yeah. work for the betterment of so many different things. Yeah. I take nerve and ease again, because I have a cyst in my foot that I've just, I've had it, I had it removed on the right foot and now there's one in the left foot and it's an awful surgery. The surgery is not awful. The recovery of not being able to be on your feet at all is awful. And I got a lot of things going on this summer, so I haven't scheduled it yet. So I take a lot of nerve and ease to help with that and to just help with my bloating. Like my face is so much thinner and right now I weigh more than I ever have. I think it's since I was like, it's since post brain injury, like when I was really, really sick, I weighed about 10 pounds more than this. But if I showed you a side by side picture, like of my face and just the inflammation and all of that um, is tremendous. But I don't know, you know, it, it has to all work together, especially right. if you're having regular headaches and migraines. Um, you know, there's for sure a benefit in it. But at that point, you're throwing so many products at people. And right. I know, like, I didn't start taking ease until, goodness, my second leaders retreat. And that was because um, Wendy Larson got up on stage and started talking about all the benefits of ease, like all the different nutrients and stuff. And she's like, everybody needs to take it every day. So I was like, okay, you know, yeah. but then I made enough with Plexus. It didn't matter if I was adding extra things to my cart, but if somebody specifically reaches out and is having has had a concussion or anything, they've got to have the triplex. And if at all possible, then I next say mega X and then I next say vital biome based on their, their budgets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what yeah. I suggest. Okay. So when we talk about brain elasticity, um, I mean, that's like just exercising and making your brain think more, right? But uh -huh. I mean, it's also gut related too, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. You know, there's all kinds of things. I'm in a ton of groups and they do like this light therapy and they wear these funny glasses to help with their brain, like activity and all that kind of stuff. I didn't do any of that. There is also, I can share it with you guys. I'll share it in that chat. If everybody is in that TBI chat that you um, created, Tony, but a guy did a TED talk, a doctor, and he is known for doing more brain scans than any other doctor in the world. And he has been over to able to show over time that um, gut health, proper gut health and nutrition actually allow the brain to regenerate and completely regrow when they once thought it didn't at all. And he has the brain scans to prove it. And it doesn't have anything to do with doing word search or crossword puzzles or any, all the stuff that they talk about for keeping your brain healthy, it is completely gut health related. There is also research to show that when you have a concussion, it severely damages the way your gut um, works. So it mm -hmm. damages your gut and your intestines and the way things are processed, which is where the Plexus products come in again to help um, grow. And again, a crossword puzzle is not going to do that. Yeah. yeah. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. yes, 100%. Like they want people who are getting older to keep their brain active and have conversations and do all kinds of amazing things like that to keep your brain active. That's a little different than having a complete brain injury where there is trauma and plaque building up in the brain. Hmm. It's not going to take that away like gut health does. Yeah. Let me see if I can see what you wrote in the chat. Mitzi, let me see. 
Yes. Yeah. So Mitzi says they're neurotransmitter cells on the intestinal walls. It is. And if you really, you can look into research of like, look up like damage to the gut from a concussion or a brain injury. It's remarkable. And that's why these products are life-changing for people that have had this kind of injury. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So um, Georgette or Bobby, do you um, ladies have anything to ask or to add in? Either they're both muted. I don't know if you want to chime in. Um, the other thing, when you started sharing um, six months in and you're having a hard time speaking, mm -hmm. um, it reminds me of people who say, I can't reach out to people because I'm too shy or I'm not an ex extrovert or we come up with reasons why we can't or excuses. Um, mm -hmm. And that's like, well, when there's a need, you push past your, your, um, in a, your inabilities or your perceived inabilities. You just push yeah, past the, those. The and, excuses uh, go away. I, I, went, um, I went Ruby without ever having a face-to-face -face or a phone conversation. Yeah. all on Facebook Messenger or text because I needed often the time to reply because my yeah. responses weren't as quick as they are now. Now you can ask me anything and I can answer you. I couldn't do that then. I couldn't yeah. do that four years ago. Mm -hmm. So I was very slow and methodical and um, it just took me, my responses took time. And so I truly went Ruby through Facebook Messenger. Yeah, yeah. And, and I also, though, I'll tell you, I'm a tough upline to have because when people come to me with excuses, I don't buy it. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah I have my best friend who I went to college with um, and we were roommates. Everybody on our team knows if you want like warm and cuddly and oh, it's okay, you go talk to Deanna. If you just want to get crap done, you need to talk to Christy. Because I'm not, I'm like, have you, do you know what I've done? Really? Yeah. And you want to tell me like, you don't know people? I didn't leave my house for a year. I still wasn't leaving my house when I went gold. Like, don't, come on. You, you made that up in your head. You made that excuse up in your head and, and it's, you're choosing to believe it. And I challenge you to unbelieve it. Yeah. I, I challenge people all the time. Like my go-to thing, if you come to me with the excuse, I'm like, How's that thought serving you? Is that yeah. working for you? Because it doesn't work for me. But do you want me to help you fix it? Or do you want like someone to tell you it's okay to not take action? Because I'm not, I'm not your girl. Yeah. I'm not your don't take action girl. I'm the girl who like, there were times, there were times when I was still so sick and I was supposed to get on a team call and I'd have to reach out to Deanna and go, Deanna, I am not like my words aren't working today. I'm not. I need you to do it. She's like, I got you. So it does help to have somebody good doing it with you. But that works because I I do about 90 percent of the training on our team. Because she doesn't like being bossy. She likes loving everybody. She's a blue personality and she wants everybody to be happy and to like her. And I'm like, do you, you want to? Do you want to make a lot of money? Because I'm your girl. Do you want to like dance on the dance floor at convention? Because she's your girl. Right? Like, and, to, and so to have people where you know, what are your strengths? What do you, you know, and work together, you know, and, and she's also, I can't tell you how many calls we've had where I've sent her the exact outline. This is what you're going to say. This is your part. And she's like, perfect. And she'll print it and you'll see it you would see her reading it. That, that was when we first got started. Like I'd, I'd listen to all the YouTube trainings and read all the books and then I'd send her a script. Okay, this is what you need to do. This is what we're talking about. This is how you feel about it. And she'd be like, perfect. I love cool. it. Yeah. So yeah. We've so, been very fortunate. Yeah. So the other thing, um, kind of jumping around with my questions. Um, TBI, I don't know if it ha makes a difference of where you're hit on your head. Um, I know some people, um, I don't know if this is a good analogy, but it's like being on the autism spectrum. You know, there's people who have minimal disability, 
and other people who are like like you are just totally out of it and people who have seizures and people who can't talk and there's all kinds of symptoms um and uh yeah it's a challenging thing to to live with and um and people that don't don't have hope because they don't know that the gut health is really plays a big part like that um, it wasn't until i mean i i hear things but until you see someone like you who's been through this and um has had so much help with it um that really makes me believe that what you know that makes me a believer so yeah thank you so yeah, much i was even on epilepsy medicine because i was having so many seizures yeah. And everybody is different. My my son um, got some bad concussions and is a TBI survivor as well. And a friend of his, his grade, his age, a good friend of his in high school was on a snow day, you know, ran, went to catch a football, hit his head on a rock, ended up having massive brain surgery that night. He was back at school sooner than my son was from concussions. So here's the other thing a lot of people don't know that we learned at Vanderbilt because my son was a part of their a big study group they did is that concussion symptoms and recovery are hereditary. Hmm. So if you know that you don't recover well from symptoms or you have a long history of getting concussions easier and then you are out of commission for a while, there's a solid chance your children will, will be the same. And so we have to be very careful with my kids because now we know that, you know, for whatever reason, that brain trauma, the recovery and the symptoms are hereditary. So some people do recover very quickly and have almost no lasting symptoms. Mm -hmm. And some people have very long, they also say females recovery is much longer than males. Mm -hmm. It's something about the makeup of the brain. But again, the brain is so it's so hard for them to help people with brain injuries because they're very different. It's not like breaking your femur mm -hmm. where most femurs are the same and they orthopedic doctors know how to, how to fix it. You know, a, a brain is very different and everybody's is different. So, you know, gut health is a real safe way to go yeah. across the board. Yeah. That's, um, I think they say like, 20% of when they're, when they're creating a new medicine, that 20% of the people won't be able to be helped by what it is because our brains and our bodies are so different. Yeah. And, yeah. And it's, I mean, they, they do what they know, what they, what they can. Mm -hmm. I think the medical community and science is amazing, but, um, you know, looking into the gut has been, a, is opening up a lot of passages. Um, oh, there was one more question I had. And okay. I forgot what it was, but anyway, I am. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has anything to to ask, or um, we can put this recording maybe on our the uh, message um, thing I set up, and people can ask questions there. Um, yeah, I'll get it uploaded, and then uh, you all are welcome to friend me on Facebook or Instagram, and I'm I'm pretty much always available. You are. You've been such a nice way. person to me. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're so. welcome. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you guys for having All me. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Bye. Have a great day. Thanks for coming. You too. Okay. Uh-huh. Bye. Bye-bye.